America's first attempt to launch a satellite. A six and a half inch sphere weighing just over three pounds was checked out by scientists and declared ready. A great wave of advanced publicity focused attention at Cape Canaveral, Florida for the launching of Project Vanguard. Newsmen from all over the world were flown down for the big turkey shoot. At the launching site, they were given a play-by-play -play account. They witnessed each tiny detail of the usually top secret preparation. It was carnival time at Cape Canaveral. All through the day and night, thousands of people thronged the nearby beaches and jetties, waiting eagerly for the big moment. This is Charles Von Friend reporting from Cape Canaveral. Reporters and photographers have gathered here throughout the night and early morning. Now it is almost noon. We expect the Project Vanguard missile carrying the first United States Earth satellite to be launched momentarily. Inside the blockhouse, the tension steadily mounted. Okay. Minus 10, mark, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Vanguard started sounding like the moan of some massive dinosaur. Fire filled its nozzles. It spit flame at first, then built with great crescendo to a tremendous howl. It ripped itself loose from its chains and began to rise slowly. We all rose with it. Oh, God, no! Somebody screamed. I don't see it. I think the launching has been unsuccessful. It seemed as if the gates of hell had Just opened. A huge black cloud of smoke. Before our unbelieving eyes, the giant began to topple. No trace of the missile. There's a sigh of disappointment through the crowd of observers. It took just seven seconds to set back a nation's pride. But our first attempt to launch an Earth satellite has apparently ended in failure. this grievous blow to our already waning world prestige, one of the most humiliating failures in all our history. Our Sputniks are circling the world. Now, with America's failure, they will not be able to stop the forward march of communism. After Vanguard, the pundits increased the intensity of their statements, warning us of our impending doom. Ye, the Christian civilization that you and I know and love, stands in greater danger today than it has in 20 centuries. I believe the American people have to meet this threat with the same urgency that we would if this nation were in an all-out war, unless we approach it from that standpoint we may well go down the drain as other great civilizations have in the past.